What's up everybody, Jed Johnson here from dieselcrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. Check out the site. I got new stuff coming your way, including I'll be releasing August of Arms later on today. So make sure you go to the link in the description box to either sign up to be the first to be notified or go to the sales page to grab it. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Today's video has to do with grip training for those who've been out of the gym for a while. I realize some people, you know, a lot of the gyms opened up already from the pandemic, but not everybody's gotten back. Some people are just getting started. So this is some stuff that I would do. First off, I'd recommend not overdoing it. You want to pace yourself, lay your foundation nice and solid, and then work up from there. Because if you haven't been training for a while, the last thing you want to do is get injured. <clears throat> I, would, I would mix up some supporting, which is like a deadlift pull or a gripping onto a bar. And just work on holds for time to begin with. Either hangs or holding just a loaded barbell in a cage. You also want to work on some thick bar stuff and some pinching to fully round out your hand development. So for thick bar, all you really need to do is load up one end of a bar in a cage and then hold it with one hand. Then you can just work each hand. You could do two bars if you have two bars that you can use, but just holding by the sleeve is going to be thick bar aspect. If you have fat grips, you can put those on the barbell and you can do things like rows, curls, things like that, where you're moving a bar through space, but you're gripping onto a thicker surface. So it's going to make your hands work harder. It's going to help you lay your foundation. Pinching is real easy. You just take some plates, put them together and you lift them up. Hopefully you have plates that are smooth on one side because then you just sandwich them together with the smooth sides facing out and it's a nice pinching challenge. You can start out with something like two or three tens, work your way up to more tens, or you could do like 225s, 235s. And if these combinations get too heavy, so that you can't do them with one hand, then go ahead and do them with two hands. Have both hands on the plates at the same time. That's gonna give you a nice foundation for hand strength. It'd also be advisable to do some wrist training. So just think about the, think along the lines of what you would do to build your forearms up. So some wrist curls, wrist extensions, and maybe just go a little heavier so that you're not doing bodybuilding reps of 10 to 15, but rather six to 10, and then go up little by little. Naturally, when you're starting out with this, you wanna make sure you stretch out and you know re relieve all that tension that's built up in your hands when you're done doing your workouts. And uh, definitely don't forget to work the extensors. When you're new to grip training or just getting back into some grip work because you don't wanna develop some kind of injury like tennis elbow. So some rubber band extensions would work great. You can also buy hand expands, which are cool rubber implements that go on your fingertips but they have little cups for each fingertip so that the implement won't slide off your hand like a rubber band will. There's millions of ways to train your grip, everybody. These are just some beginner ways to do it with equipment that you probably already have access to. Naturally, you can check out my channel here. I've got thousands, thousands of videos here, probably over 75% of them 
our grip training. I've got lots of Q&As here. You can search my channel for terms like Q&A, grip strength, grip training. Also look up cooking with napalm, driving with napalm. These are all Q&A videos that I named a little bit differently based on what I was doing when I shot the videos. Grilling with napalm. All of those are ways that you can find videos that are more Q&A oriented. Any questions, you can leave them in the description box below. I just don't generally do training uh, Q&As such as programming. Um, you know, what's the best way for me to work up to closing the number three gripper, brother? I have products for that. I'm not going to answer anything any better here on the YouTube than I've already answered in my products for gripper training and pinch training and things like that. So you want to get those. Otherwise, you're getting incomplete information. So I hope this has been helpful. Be sure to subscribe. Give it one of these, a big one. Hit it hard. And all the best in your training. Take care.